pre-stream routine. Good morning. Good morning, everybody. How we doing? West Coast always representing hard. Portland, Washington, San Fran, California's, Uber Alice. What is up? Pre-stream jam today. It is this. So, Mr. LP turned like 47 yesterday. I like these old dudes my age that just bring it. My shirt messing up your messing up your videos. Perfect day here in Atlanta. It's going to be 80 and sunny here south of the city. So yeah, perfect day. Shorts weather. We're doing good. We're doing good. So, this is my favorite LP song pre run the jewels days. So <clears throat> So that is the jam. It hits. It hits hard. It hits hard. All right. How are y'all? Um, we got some Galen Leather Goods. They reached out to me, sent me a couple new th new products. So we're gonna see what's in that. Um, in a little bit here this morning, um, I have a new product that was just sent to me. A link just sent to me that I want to show y'all and check out. Maybe y'all have seen it. I can't tell if this has been around or if it's new. So we'll look at that in a minute. Um, got a jet pins order out for delivery. Nice. I have a jet pins order out for delivery to Jeffrey Abbott, who writes for the blog. So I always keep Sarah, Jeff, and Kimberly loaded up with stuff. I just got Sarah some stuff. I just got Jeff some stuff. So I guess Kimberly's next. Forgot to tell you that all of my PA Ajoto. I love that pen too. I'm not going to lie. I love that pen. I'm working on my next pen, non Ajoto pen. Next non Ajoto pen. Maybe I'll sneak preview it in the, uh, in the refill this weekend. I think maybe we'll do that. It's actually, it's literally sitting here on my desk right now. I can see it, but I'm not going to tell you what it is. Because that's how I roll. That's how I roll. Whew. Some stationary fueled serotonin. Any luck on the emotes? Nope. Is it something I'm going to buy? I'm going to go... That's a tough question. I'm going to go with no. But that's not a. It's not, I don't think it's a hundred percent no. I'm. I'm. My my knowledge is is lacking. I think it's going to be a no. But we'll see, we'll see. Jet pins is less than an hour for me on a good day. I've been over to their offices. When the, the last time I went to the uh, San Francisco pin show, that was fun. Got to hang out with them for an afternoon. Can we see it, Brad? You'll you'll maybe you'll maybe see it on on Saturday. Maybe see it on Saturday, if I'm feeling frisky. Basically, I'm at the point where I need to approve it, so I think it's far enough along to share because I'm going to approve it. Jet pins around the corner from Claire's house. Nice. Rich Sticks, 31 months. Let's go. Let's go. Saturday stream or post? Uh, post. Post. We'll hold it for a little bit. But I think once I, once I approve it, I think it's going to happen pretty quick. DP LaFo, 19 months of subbing. Thank you so much. If I write about it this weekend, I'll show it on stream next week. That'll be the that'll be the deal. Members got to get first first info, but it's like I'm at the I'm at the uh, I'm at the point where like I don't even have the pricing yet. But quick, so late summer, I would bet faster. The way this has moved, I feel like it would be faster than that. That's just a gut feeling, gut feeling. So we'll, we'll talk about it more once I get, uh, but I've already paid a down payment. So like it's happening. Like I've paid a, like the materials down payment, whatever like that is. Um, it won't be too much of a surprise and it's not like a big, like a high end thing. Like the Ajoto is like kind of a high end thing. This one's going to be not, not like low, low end, but moderately priced. So, um, It'll be fun. I'm excited about it. I haven't, uh, 
I haven't played with it too much yet. It just came in yesterday, the, the, the final sample. So we're on like three rounds of samples. So it's good. It's good. Limited edition crystal with big crystal with Brad's face painted on the inside. I would do that. PA Platinum Prep Preppy. I should email them. I love. I, I this is the pen I've been using this morning. This is the Purple Nap. I don't even have my my camera set up yet. But yeah, I love this pen. Could you imagine if I could do this pen in orange? Let's see. Oh, that's what we're gonna talk about in a minute. Could you imagine if I could do this in orange, how dope that would be? Opus 88 collaboration would be sweet. I don't see that happening. NPD yesterday, first pilot pen. Went with the Custom 74 recommendation. First pen in quite a while, first school nib too. Good, I hope you like it. Purple Axle S. I will tell you it's not Purple Axle S. Bright light, bright light. I love this stinking pen. Could, imagine if I could get an all orange one of these. I wonder how many I'd have to. Like, this is one of those things where I'd like to send an email to get rejected, but the likelihood that I would even be able to contact someone that could give me an answer uh, is so small. It's like less than 1%. So it's like, it makes me not even want to try, but like sometimes I should just try. I need, I need an N. So platinum, if you're listening, Let's do a uh, let's do an all orange, uh, Perpenet model. I I would make that a permanent permanent stock item because it would be probably less than twenty bucks, so I could just keep them on forever. Not salmon, agreed. Not salmon. Don't dislike the salmon. It's just not like at the top of my list. Like, like this is a great orange plastic, right? Like this is a Sakura. This is like a $50 gel pen, but like it's just a solid orange hunk of plastic. And it's, that's a good color. Something like this. Now y'all got me thinking. All right. Email Platinum is now on the list. Right. Email Platinum or Twisby. Twisby at least will, will reply to the emails. But they, they do their own things. Like I can probably do something with them. Maybe one of these years. I try not to do too much. I try not to do too much. Kind of one thing at a time. Like, I'm going to get this batch of Ajotos up for sale this weekend. Um, and then we'll be launching this new product. I don't like to have, like, a billion things at once. Here's an orangish platinum preppy. Let's see. I'm excited for the new swipe color that is at Salmon, the pear green. Excuse me one second. Allergy season. Yeah, they do. I haven't seen like the full orange barrel. That's pretty neat. Kind of like a translucent. Oh, what, what character is on that? Oh, Moomin. I didn't even read it. Nice. That's pretty cool. I would do solid orange. I would do solid orange if I was going to. I would do it. I would really do it like this because I think this is more. It's It's more different than their normal stuff, right? The Fig Boot Leonardo, yeah, did anyone get those? Those are legit great. What do you guess the new color Twisby Eco? So I guess a lavender purple for the swipe. Eco? I'm trying to think. They did that jade. I would like this. They've done a lot in this color, and they may already have it. But I would like to see a pink in that jade opaque material. A little bit darker, but with the opaqueness or whatever you want to call that, the, 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 the way they did the jade manufacturing. That's what I'd like to see. But they've done several pink models of that already, so I'm trying to think of what color they haven't done that might be a good thing. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. So that's that's my first thought. More like the uh, like a magenta, not quite as dark as like a magenta, but more than like a light pastel -y pink. Buttercup yellow. They've done a couple yellows too. They've done the standard yellow. They did the limited edition yellow for that artist. Um, 
you know, kind of school busy yellow. Um, let's talk about this real quick. So Thomas Hall sent me this this morning, the Pilot Light Live fountain pen demonstrator. I, have y'all seen this before? So I have questions about this. Bright lights, bright lights. So to me, you see that right there? You know how Pilot did the Explorer fountain pen last year? Or two years ago, I guess now they did the Explorer. This is the Explorer cap because it has the precise um, portholes on it, right? It has the cap porthole. So I'm wondering if this is like the same shape as the... Um, as the Explorer, but it could be a eyedropperable, lower cost pilot pen. It's interesting. It's definitely the Explorer cap, right? And the Explorers, like they did okay, but they were priced more than the Metropolitan and a little bit less nice. I don't know. It's just different, right? They were more like a $30 pen in the, the Metropolitan. It was in the, now in the, like the low twenties. So, yeah, so it's interesting. It's interesting. Like, I, like this would make me want to get this pen as opposed to, like, the Explorer, which I just thought was kind of, like, average. I think this is a good look, right? I think it's – they should have done this in the first place with the Explorer and done some translucent barrels, you know, done their orange and purple and blue and teal trans transparent barrels and smoke like the like the grip section here as opposed to the explorer which just kind of cannibalized the metro like do you hear anyone talking about the explorer like we talk about the metro all the time we go from metro to prera is kind of the move and the explorer is just kind of out there this could be interesting what's what's 30 euro um conversion rate someone worked that up for me while i'm looking through these pictures the barrel reminds me of the Sailor High Ace Neo, which is a very cheap barrel, like a $12 pen. Like, the barrel's not going to be impressive to feel. 33 thank you. I mean, I mean, okay, so this pen or a Prera, right? Are you going to pay, are you going to buy this pen or are you going to buy a Prera? So is there, uh, M. Inky Love, do you have a link to that? Because I'm wondering if this already exists and this is just called something different, like regionally. Like, I am i don't see any reason to recommend this over a prayer, right? I love the prayer. Good morning to Mickey Winter, Vlad. So it's interesting. I haven't seen this before. And I've never been compelled to buy an Explorer. All right, let's see what this is. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so that's the Explorer. So the Light Live, did they change the name? Pilot Light Live is an affordable fountain pen that is similar to Pilot's Explorer. All right, so it's new. Maybe they're getting away from the Explorer and switching to the Light Live. That could be the case. The name is a combination of light and active. Well, it's clearly not the Perpinep. They should have done better. So, okay, so it exists before, right? Okay, so here's the Explorer. So this is what I was talking about, the Explorer. So it already existed. Okay, so this is not new. It sounds like they're getting rid of the name and remarketing it. Is that what we're doing? Hmm. So here's the other explorers. 
Like, I just didn't see... Well, I guess these are $23. Right? This is what the Explorer originally launched. The original launch Explorer was like, right? And I just don't think they hit, right? Because anyone who's had a lot of pilot experience is going to say, get the Metropolitan for a little bit less or get the Prera, which feels a little bit nicer to me than something like this. And this is just kind of middled there in the price point. Although 23 bucks is less than I thought they were. I thought they were more like 28, 30 could be, could be a different name for a different market. Yeah. It could be a regional, but it looks like they're doing away with this, right? This was how the Explorer launched. Right. And it was like, cool, but why? So this was round one of the Explorer. So then maybe this is round two and maybe they're just converting the name. Okay. So it could just be the name thing. Cool, but why? Yeah, that's a great show title. I'm trying to see if they have the pilot word mark on the caps. You can't really see in that image. All right, cool. So I was curious, like I hadn't seen that before. So this is what I saw this morning. I'll probably grab one of these newer ones. This is a pen I'd let someone borrow 100%. It's not a red stripe M800. Let's talk about the M800 real, real quick. Let's talk about this. All right. Anyone want to guess what I have to say about this? The name is a combination of cool and why. Okay, about time is in there. Is in there. It's related to what I want to say about this. My comment is, this is why you don't FOMO. This is the exact reason you do not FOMO stationary goods. People would pay a premium for this pen years ago, up until last year, right? The red stripe commanded a premium now Pelican says, hey, let's do that one again. Cool, man. Like, it's awesome. I love the, I love the red stripe. Um, but this is exactly why you don't get caught up in the FOMO. The new ones aren't transparent, though. So, like, the percentage of people that will care about that is in the micro fractions, right? So while I don't disagree with that, those are the Pelican's perch readers. But in the more universal sense, you know, you don't know if there's an ink window in the new ones at all. Who knows? But I think the point being is like I would be if I was a red stripe person and wanted a red stripe and paid a premium for one of the previous editions but never wanted to pay the premium, I'd be pretty happy today, right? So, this is why you don't FOMO stationary goods. In my opinion, that's what I think. It's it, this looks awesome. I would rather have this in the green to be honest. Who was saying green or nothing? Uh Namiki Winter Vlad. Yeah, green or nothing. All right, green or red pelican, let me know. Green stripe, red stripe. I mean, my my one remaining pelican uh, is a 405 that's blue stripe. So I prefer blue stripe. I mean, Stressman is the best. Let's just let's just be, be clear. But uh, this red is awesome. <laughs> Went through my pins yesterday, had a freak out, need to get over FOMO and enjoy the pins I have. Yeah, and that doesn't mean you get... Uh, uh, that you just like cut yourself off. Stressman is horrible. Is that really, is that a real statement, Alan? Y 
Yeah, I think I would pick red over green, but it's like one of those things where you're just not a fan of boring gray. I mean, that's fair, but I'm a fan of the silver trim, right? So that stress, stress them all works like exquisitely well with that, um, with Pelican's design. Satisfied some legitimately actionable FOMO yesterday when my Nox shipment arrived. That's fair. Like, that's a different thing. Although you never know, maybe it comes back. Some, maybe some other company makes Nox stuff down the line. Like, you never know, right? You can always find, like, a case that you might like. I have a red 600, but wouldn't mind a blue. Then green, I already have the Stressman. Wish I'd gotten it in a smaller model. Hmm. You have a 600 Stressman? I didn't need a lookout in a pencil case? Yeah. It was also didn't set you back too much money, right? So that's 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 fair. That's fair. So, yeah. I think it looks great. But, like, when I saw this, I was like, I was like, this is why you don't FOMO the things, right? This is, like, just, it's okay. Like, it's okay. Just chill. It'll be okay. The real answer is a Bocamundo M800. If I liked pelicans more from a writing perspective i think pelicans an elite pen it's just not for me that would probably be the pen i sent to bocamundo um it's it's just not i don't get along with pelicans and their nibs very much i love them though like it's it's, it's nice pelicans are so good they're just not for me I'm like and that's okay that's okay right I need to probably ink up my 405. My only problem with Pelicans and their nibs are too wide except for extra fine. Yeah. It's so like my Ocean had extra fine and like it was good. It was just like I didn't always use it. So. All right. Um, let's see what Galen Leather sent us. Hey, JC. Took my EF to Mark and told him to make it into a real EF. Yeah, that's a that's a Pelican thing, right? White transparent M605 EF is always inked up. So I have the only one I have left is my 405 with the needlepoint grind on it. It's it's really fragile, in a good way. Like I'm I enjoy writing with it. It's small, it's light, and the needle is mega needly. So I need to ink it back up. That's the one that I bent when I. Um, dipped it in the ink bottle too low to fill it. That's how soft that uh, nib is. Still don't own a Pelican. That's okay. They're really not for everybody. Like, they're not for me. Like, in general, I don't get along with Pelicans. Um, except, like, the steel. I, I love the steel nibbed M205s. Those are dope. I like those better than any of the gold nib ones, except my needle point. All right, let's see what we got here. Nib Taylor, nice interview with the boys on As the Pin Turns. Can y'all put a link into JC's appearance on As the Pin Turns? In case anyone's not listening um, to uh, Brad and Jason's podcast, and Jonathan, excuse me, new new third host, Jonathan. Uh, they had JC on recently. I haven't listened yet. It's in my queue. Someone has the link. Please put that in the show notes. I've been putting off getting the Golden Barrel because my Pelican case is full and I have to figure something out with that. I'm surprised because you get all the colors, even if the case is full. Like, what? The, when the next color happens, what are you going to do? <laughs> right? My 101 in medium feels like a BB nib. It's a thick boy. Yeah, for sure. Could you recommend an entry-level Pelican? I mean, give me a price point. Because they don't really have, like, the 205 is their real entry-level pin, and that's like a $100 pin. Right? After that, you're getting into like the Pelicano, which is like a kid's pen, but it's kind of great. It's like a Pelicano twist. It's really exceptional. Um, and then they have the cartridge filler. What do they call the cartridge filler one? But really, to be honest, like the Pelican, like that you want, like the Pelican experience. The Stola, thank you. That's the one I was thinking of, the Stola. Um, it's not terrible. And it's more like in the $70 range. But to get the real Pelican experience, you want the Pelican Piston. Um, and that's the 205 and you're spending over a hundred dollars for those. But like, I have a basic black rhodium trim, um, 205. Oh, 200. You're covered. You, I'd get a, I'd get a 205 and you can pick any color you want. They do an annual limited edition color. They have plenty of colors. So like the limited edition ones usually are like 160, 180, but you can get the standard black one for like 120. So there you go. 
it's uh, like, yeah. But after that, you go from 205 to 405, which is the gold nib jump. And then you're paying like over 300 is the next step. You're kicking myself for not trying to buy your ocean swirl. I know the owner of that um, sometimes is here, and I know they are very happy with that pin. That's a, I mean, that's one of those pins that is could not be more perfect, but I just didn't use because kind of the size and the nib and all that stuff. So, yeah, the nibs on the two hundred series are exceptional. I, I love the two hundred five. Love it. M two hundred's almost small, too small for my hands. Yeah, I could hear that. Stone Garden look good. Yeah. Yep, the EF is great. Now y'all are making me want to ink up my Pelicans, all two that I have remaining, and I have one of the uh, metal stripe. I have a metal stripe one. All right, TNT, the People Network. I don't know what kind of packaging this is. I'm assuming this is Galen Leather. Yep, yeah, Galen Leather. So I think I know what's in here, but I told uh, Eunice to surprise me. Might be a tad basic, but my grail is a Lamy 2000 and stainless. It's not even remotely basic. This is a dope pen. I just bought mine. I've had mine like a week. So bought it used, got a good price. Nib is really great. Um, I, I prefer this over the Macrolon, with, without question. The nibs on the 205 are bouncy. I don't think they're bouncy. Actually, I think that's why I like it. Yes, Diggs, it's it's good. Like, that's that's not ba even remotely basic, I don't think. All right, let's see what we got here. So Eunice picked out a couple of things he wanted to send me. And he said, is that okay? And I was like, yeah, that's okay. Buy the Lamy 2K stainless steel used. That's exactly what I did to make you winner, Vlad. You get a good price discount. And I plan on destroying it anyway, right? Even if, like you say, normal use will not damage the pin. Like, I didn't care if it had, like, scratches or whatever. Like, that's a... Uh, like just like a preference thing, like that type of pen, it's gonna look good dinged up. Why do you prefer this? Prefer the stainless steel over the regular? The um the weight of it. I mean, strictly the weight and the aesthetic of it. And I, I like lightweight pens, but this just feels better than the tooth, than the uh, the Macrolon. I mean, it's not like it's a drastic opinion, right? Like I love the tooth, the standard two thousand. Do you ever see the red Lamy 2000 in your travels? No. I've only ever seen the, the browns and the blue. I've never seen a red one in person. I have two 205s and both nibs are scratchy. Crazy. I, I, you rarely hear that. Outside of gold or silver, metal pins look better with wear and tear. Yeah, I never mind um, just getting that completely dinged up. Like that will That pin will just completely be gray great uh i have it loaded up with pilot oroshizuku shinkai so i like for some reason i like the blue black and like the more traditional style pens like that it's it was the first it was like an easy decision it was either going to be shinkai or lami blue black which i like but i went for shinkai there was only one red one ever made i thought they, they didn't make more than that they just made the one for the johnny ive thing all right let's see what we got here let me switch, switch this camera around. So again, um, Galen Leather sent me this care package for future review consideration. Um, and I know it, it was a notebook and a pen case, I'm pretty sure, but there's definitely more than that in here. Ooh. This is nice. So this is the first thing on the top. I like single pin sleeves, right? Like I have some Kaveco fabric ones. Um, I That is nice. It's like the uh, green leather. It's rough on the inside. Like I wouldn't put like a, like a, like a fountain pen that's going to scratch here. But like I would use something in this. 
it's just that's really nice i love that green color too i had the medic bag in the green that's the one i gave away i like single pin cases because i i will throw them in my pocket this is though it's pretty rough on the inside i'd have to think about what i put in here something i wouldn't mind getting roughed up like the lamy 2000 although i wouldn't put slide it in now that's nice all right, that looks like a pen. We'll save that. Oh, and this is their little uh, little pencil pouch, little little bitty bag. Oh, I got a note in here. Ooh, let's see if I got an eye. Let's see if I got an evil evil eye. Yeah, you know I did. Let's go. We got an evil eye. And we usually get tea and candy. Tea, tea. Oh, instant coffee. Wow, okay. This is cool handwriting. This is like the, the, the pack-in, the pre-printed pack-in, but look how cool the, uh, like this isn't handwritten or maybe it was handwritten originally, but this is this is uh, pre-printed. Um, but that handwriting is, is great. But this is their, their story. So this is like the pack-in. So this, this is like the whole little pack-in kit, right? Little little bag, little goodies, the evil eye. So if you're not familiar with the evil eye, I'll read it to you. It says, with each Galen Leather Co. product, we include a Nazar, N-A-Z-A-R, famous in Turkish culture. A Nazar is an eye-shaped amulet believed to protect against the evil eye. When someone eyes your good fortune with jealousy and gluttony, bad luck in some form is bound to befall you. We send you the Nazar as a talisman to ward against this. Typically made of glass featuring concentric circles in shades of blue, Nazars are handmade in the small village of Nazar near to Izmir, Turkey. As little has changed in how these pieces have been made for thousands of years, you could say that you hold a bit of our country's history in your hand. Wherever you keep it in your home, with your Galen items, if you wear it or carry it with you, we hope it will bring you good fortune and peace. That's cool. That's cool. I need to, I need this evil eye in, in here. So it needs to hang on, on something. So we're going to, well, no, I'll probably give that to y'all. If I give something away, we'll give y'all the evil eye. I got another one somewhere in my closet. All right. So we have instant Turkish coffee. I have not tried this yet. Then we have, is this tea? Oh, it's a, <laughs> it's a hand towel. And then black label tea. All right, let's slide all this back in here. Then I have a coupon code. If y'all need a coupon code, thank you, 10. All right. And then a postcard. Antalya, be our guest. Oh, love is the bridge between you and everything. Now, this is handwritten. Someone wrote this because it's smeared. So, Rumi, I don't know Rumi. But uh, I appreciate the sentiment. Love is the bridge between you and everything. I think we'll keep that. We'll keep that here for now. All right. Rumi is a very dead poet. See, I don't know Rumi. You think I would dig Rumi? See, I don't know that. Michelle, good morning. How are you doing today? So yeah, see, I don't know that. All right, you can, uh, y'all can link me some roomy after the, uh, after the show. So, or, or DM to me on Twitter, um, cause that's something I would like to check out. If y'all are like instantly saying that I would be into that, I, I want to hear more. All right. I think we have a notebook here. Star Starbucks, two months of sub, and I missed yours. Thank you so much. I appreciate you. Sorry about that. I just need Toasty to do my emotes. All right. Complete works via the Wikipedia page. All right. Let's see what we got here. Oh, no. Thank you, Star Starbucks. All right. Let's see what we got here. What is this one? The Everyday Book. Cosmo Air Light A5 
288 pages. Should we open this? I guess we should open this. I want to see what the cover is. They usually have some pretty nice, uh, some nice covers. Looks like I need to go that route, Toasty. I'm 0 for 3. Like, I try. I really, I really am trying, y'all. I promise you. Oh, we're going to get a billion emotes. I have a billion emote slots that are being unused. Their packaging is so nice. This masterpiece only cost me 10. Man, booty plants. I'm in. All right, so here's the guide. These are guides that ship with the notebook. What is this? Is this like a... Uh, this like their blotting paper, is, but it's like a leather. It's like a piece of leather. And this is the back of the book. With the specs. Cosmo Air Light. Really nice soft cover binding. Ooh, blank. That's really nice. How many pages? 288 pages. Leather, leather blotter paper. That's cool. I would be down with this. I have a whole list of things I need to do, and I've submitted them several times to several people, and we have never gotten it to work out. Really cool co color. Really cool cover. Um, yeah, I mean, how can you go wrong with this, right? How can you go wrong with this? Let's see, I probably need to put these in the back like this to slide them back in. All right, so that's the Cosmo Air Light. I think this is a new-ish item, or they maybe had just started doing them recently. Blank is great. Leather blotter, great idea. I would like to try that leather blotter. I think that would be cool. All right. So I knew that was coming, and then I knew this was coming. It's much bigger. Did you get and use a five-year journal some lines type yet? Not yet. So when I make that kind of commitment purchase, I really like try to overthink it for like a long, long time. Um, so I'm still on the maybe scale. Ooh, look at that. I'm still on the maybe scale for that. So this is one of their new uh, pin sleeve. Do you call something this big a pin sleeve? But this this holds pins. Pin pin pouch. Does it have an official name? I'll have to look up the official name. There's no stickers on here. So pin box. So yeah, this is the firm firm sided pin box made from their their leather goods. Oh, does this slide out? Oh, damn, this slides out. Check that out. It comes out. I got I get I do more overthinking a big blank journal. Yeah. Just get it. You honestly you're probably right about the 5 year. You just get it and you go, right? That's cool. It slides out. Let's try it. I know y'all can't see this. I got too much crap in the way. Hey, Momo. All right, let's see here. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 10, 11, 12. Um, can it fit thick pins? We'll see. I don't have anything super chunky here. Like that's all I have loaded up in here. <laughs> I feel bad I'm putting the Twisby swipe, the Perpinap. This is all the stuff I have in here. Uh, let's put in this tactile turn. It's a long pin. And then we'll put in the pink robots. I mean, the, this Opus 88 and this is a Pilot 912. And then you slide it out like this, right? You slide it out, and you have a tray. This is sick. 
Bright eye draw and pin bait. That's a good question, Slumberland Studio. I draw on print, printmaking paper, so lots of fibers in my needlepoint. I use a brass shim. Can I ruin the needlepoint doing this? You just have to make sure you're not twisting it, right? Right, you want to go like straight through, right? When you're when you're doing it, just if you keep it straight, um, I don't think you're going to damage it more than you would using it, right? Because they're fragile to use to begin with. So I don't think using a shim is going to do much more as long as you're not twisting so the tines split like this, right? Does that make sense? Um, do y'all want me to go get something bigger? I mean, it looks like it's going to fit whatever. I can go grab the Kasama. But, like, this is an Optima Pro Gear. I could get, like, a King of Pin. This is the uh, the the thinner Halo one, right? This isn't the big chonker one. This is the Halo one, which is narrower, right? Let me go grab something real quick. I'll go I'll go grab them real quick. Y'all give me give me one second because I'm now I'm curious. Let me get a King of Pen and the Kasama. Um, and I have the Memento Zero Grande. That sounds good. Yeah, Thunder Viking said that too. All right, I'm going to uh, take a restroom break too. So enjoy the pens and I'll be right back. Y'all are going to make me ink up all these cool pens I don't have inked up. All right, so we got a Homo Sapiens MZG. We got the 1911 King of Pen. All right, any questions? I don't, uh, I, I'm probably not going to scroll back here. So, Memento Zero Grande. Let's take out some of these thinner, smaller ones. 1911. King of Pen, Homo Sapiens, uh, Kasama Una Ultim. All right. They all still have movement. Um, we'll slide it back into the uh, into the tray in just a second. Uh, 
Opus 88 demonstrator about 120. I think it was a little less. This was a special edition one. So it was a little over 100. This is uh, the Halo, the Linen Toolbar Halo model. So it's thinner and smaller than the big, big Opus 88s. Yeah, the King of Pen. I got the 1911 instead of the uh, Pro Gear just because it was longer. And then the Homo Sapiens is big. Like all these slots, I mean, they're not a tight fit, right? So they feel pretty good in there. So let me uh, slide it back in here. Linen toolbar. Everyone loves pink robots. That is right. All oranges should be the royal tangerine orange. That is true. So let's slide it back in. Let me just see. Like I have the clips facing up. So I'm just curious if we're going to hit them. Yeah, we're going to hit those clips if they're facing up. Um, there's a little bow right here, right where I put these clips. So I probably want them a little bit sideways, and then it lays flat. Oh, the parallel mod for the Opus 88. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, those are dope. Linen toolbar. So, yeah, biggest pins with the clips up hit this. Like, it still closes, but there's a, there's a rise right here, right? But there's enough room to turn them and not get into anything as well. So, um, magnet clip fits completely. And then you take it back out in the tray. It's nice to have that option. We can set it up here if we need to. Yeah, I think this will be in a lot of my pictures <laughs> going forward. What if you point the clip into the crease of the slot? I'm sh I mean, it's in the corner. Yeah, it would be fine. It wouldn't change it, right? Is that what you mean? It'll close. It'll close like that. Yeah, I see what you're saying. So if you move them into the angle in the corner, yeah, that should be fine. They're not gonna. Um, they're not gonna raise up then. So yeah. What do y'all think? I think this is pretty good. All right, I'm going to review this for sure. So I got those turned over in the side like that, and it's gonna close completely flat, okay? Yeah, I don't even know how much they are. They're available, but y'all can tell me how much they are. It smells great, and this is a great color. I like this color, all right. Let me put these pens away so I'm not tempted to ink them. How does this compare to the Franklin Kristoff envelope? I don't have one, so. Um, the Franklin Kristoff isn't removable. It also comes in non-leather. Um, so yeah, so those are a couple of the differences. I don't know the price difference. I think they're ballpark the same. 159, I mean, that seems right, right? Seems right. This seems more like the FC pin tray box thing. I haven't seen that. I normally don't have cases like this, right? This is normally not my thing. It is, it is removable. See, I don't even know these things. Like I don't own any products like this right if anything i've used the uh like the two or three pin boxes that franklin christoph does right like this hey bloomin welcome to the chat but i've never owned anything larger than like a three pin box so y'all will have to to tell me about those types of things i just don't know Sorry, I gotta text my daughter real quick. So yeah, there you go. I, I've always, anytime I've gotten like the bigger pin cases, I, uh, oop, these are not the ones that are inked. 
I end up giving them away. Um, it's just generally not been my style or my thing. Bright lights, bright lights. Mm -mm. But yeah, this looks great. This might be one... This might be one that I will keep for myself because I don't I for all my years of doing this I don't have anything like this again like I said repeating myself <coughs> it's never been a priority because um, I've always carried stuff around and knocked stuff right but this is uh, would be a good travel kit I like it approved is it's really it's really strong do you have an inventory of how many pins you have no, but I might consider that later this year. I need to do another big sale, right? Like I do, I've done like a sale a year. I need to do at least one more big sale before I'm comfortable saying, hey, these are my pens, right? Does that make sense? Like I'm not trying to avoid it or avoid doing it. But like I don't think I'm at a point to where doing that is beneficial, <laughs> I don't want to know, basically. <laughs> Wait, this is a bad idea if ink stains are concerned. I, I wouldn't even blink if this got stained. Like, I would be okay with that. Like, this one is... Like, this one's uh, made to be destroyed, in my opinion. Right? This is only going to look better the worse it is. The more used it is it's a very it's a great portable case for like seeing other people that's exactly right so there you go all right i'll review this soon how many does it hold 12 I mean, if I left it out, if you left it out, yeah, that's good. It's going to get, it'll get really destroyed. That might be a different question. Yeah, JC, I see what you're saying. Like that might be a, like a bridge too far for me. I, I, I'm, I'm understanding you there. I really like the Esterbrook case, but the branding is so large. It's like 1990s Tommy Hilfiger. That's actually pretty funny. I, I totally see that now that you say that. Good morning, Murdoch. There's a fine line between messy and fashionably hobo. Yeah, that would be pretty aggressive, JC, I think. Yeah. So, all right, cool. All right, they sent me something else. I don't know what this is. So they do some um, some pens with a Turkish brand. Could be that. I, I really don't know what this is. So um, he didn't tell me he was sending me this, nor did I ask for it. So let's see what it is. What's the what's the Turkish brand that they carry? I want to say like Scribo, but I know that's not that's the Italian brand. The box says fountain pen, could be. But I think this is click. I don't know. They carry it on their site, but I can't remember. I think they've sent me one before. What is this? This is like a Oh, it's a narwhal. Oh, dang. Oh, this is their narwhal one. This is one made for them. Scris. Okay, so that was the uh that was the brand that, the Turkish brand. This is a narwhal collab. Oh, wow. Poor Penman 13 months. Test you called it. Nice. That is really pretty. Yeah. yeah. 60 bucks for this one? Hang on. Yeah, it's like a rose gold. It's like a rose gold, not a, a yellow gold. Dang, that's pretty cool. Any of my LA pen show peeps get to talk to the Narwhal people? I saw them uh, represented there. Oh, and it's got the... I don't know if y'all can see that. It's got uh, the Galen leather, barely faintly 
etched on the barrel. Yeah, rose gold tone. Yeah, not rose gold material. Right, rose gold plated or whatever you want to call it. So just a round finial clip, nib. Oh, what kind of nib is this? Look at this nib. Can y'all see this? It's kind of square or has a buttload of tipping. And it says number two on the back. I know they make their own nibs. Anyone have an idea? The baseline narwhals, I agree, poor penman. Like I did a review of mine. Go read my review and that gives you my thoughts. It's like, it's okay. Like it didn't like, um, completely blow my mind. This one's kind of nicer though. I think they only have fine or medium. Look at the tipping on this thing. It's like so huge, it's like square almost. Standard feeds made, gotcha. <laughs> Ink it up, ink it up. I do have an ink here that would go really well with it. Hmm. Do I need another pen inked up? Their nibs are too broad, even fines. I think that's what I, uh, what I saw when I reviewed mine. Like it was really really fine let me see if i can get you a close-up it looks like tipping girth not excess plating but you would know better than me let's see if we can do this what do you think Stigs, thanks for the follow. I mean, that looks like tipping to me. <laughs> See, I'm not delusional, right? Like, JC could do some crazy, something crazy with this. All right, so I'm not out of line, right? That's kind of astonishing. Let's see if I can get a straight on shot here. It's hard to aim this when you're not looking at it. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna be able to get a straight on shot. There we go. So yeah. It's a monster. I have a really good ink here. Um, that would be perfect for this. I guess I should ink it up, right? Like if I'm gonna review it or something. Even if you want NP fines, NP fines. Needlepoint fines, even really? Like I wouldn't... Um, I have Van S, uh, Robert Oster Hemp, which would be a really sick combo because I inked up Shogun, like Shogun would be the one, right? This is the Shogun ink pen, right? But I did it in the Aurora yesterday or Tuesday, right? Shogun would be money for this, but I have this sitting here going to ink. I know nothing about pens, but this has me hypnotized. You are in the right place, Meg. You don't have to know anything. Like, we just keep it fun, but we, like, nerd out at a really high level, but very basic as well. So, um, yeah, I'm, I'm glad you're here and enjoying this. Like, we, I usually do a lot more writing some days. Today, we're just kind of looking at products. But, yeah, like, this hemp green is, is a perfect match for this, right? For matchy-matchy. God, I'm just debating if I want to ink it up. I guess I need to, right? Do a poll? No. 
I know what the poll is going to say. <laughs> I don't need to do a poll. I already know the answer. <laughs> the answer is clear. It's just what I want to do is, is the real factor here. Um, that Shogun is nice. Here's my page yesterday. It's actually here. Let me see if I can show you on. Uh, no, I'll, I'll link it up. So here's, let's see, the Shogun writing yesterday. You can see the uh, the shimmer in the Shogun. It looks great. It's kind of a coppery, coppery brown black. So the 2000 I have is a gold nib. Yes. Can you get any line width variation out of it? I mean, mine's an extra fine. And even then, it's it's got a couple little, um, it's got a slight variation poll for verification um do i have a writing sample i'll have to make a bigger writing sample i don't really have one yet all right i'm gonna ink it up you know i was All right, I gotta get a wet paper towel. Hydrate. What's your oldest, most full ink bottle? That would be a good. That would be a good uh, test. Let me go um, dampen this. I would just empty it out of the Aurora and put it in the Norwell. I like it in the Aurora. And and I I got this hemp ink to ink up something with it, and I haven't yet. So this is a really great match. So give me a sec. Fire on fire would be nice in here too, but I just inked up uh, Sazerac. All right, let's do this. I like shimmer ink, but my present EDC is supposed to be 580 AL and doesn't always play nice. Yeah, I mean, it could. I don't know that, is there a perfect uh, shimmer ink pen? Have you seen the Waringul Sanshiro ink? I have not. At least not, not that I'm remembering the name. So this is a this is a green. It's not too bright, but it's got a lot of character in it. I really am impressed with this. Um, so this is the piston on this narwhal. It's crazy smooth. No, like it's well lubricated, um, as they say. So feels good. So we're just gonna uh, we're just gonna dip it. So were y'all saying before that narwhal just does? fine and medium nibs. So Narwhal makes their own nibs in-house. Um, Y'all are saying the only options are fine and medium. So I must have a fine in my other one and this must be a medium. We gotta be careful with these Robert Oster bottles on this desk. Oh man, it's like squirting. I've never seen a piston so tight that the ink was like squirting into the barrel. I wish y'all could have seen that. That giant blob of tipping is a medium, allegedly. That is what we're, the story we're going with. Until I go look it up myself. You know what? Is there a packing list? <laughs> I should see. If, I got a shipping notification from them, so I'll go look on that. No EF, which is why I don't want a narwhal. Well, if you ever want to modify one, you certainly have the tipping. <laughs> Except the gold splot Brooks Narwhal, what's the difference there? So this is the, uh, so that was a, not quite a half fill, but that's okay for testing. Yeah, this is a very round, I hit it with a paper towel, so it's going to take a second. I, I probably sucked off the, the excess ink here. This is a, this is like writing with a ball. But it's firm though, right? This isn't a very bouncy nib. Yeah. 
It feels smoother than my fine. My fine felt a little sticky. Architect on the gold spot narwhal. Yeah, this could have anything on it. Uh, this is a real combo pin. Uh, it's two collaborations. Pin collaboration and ink collaboration. Does Van S have two S's, two N's in it? It does. I missed an N. Man, I like this one better than my, uh, than the narwhal I tested. Like, this is a pretty great pen for 60 bucks. I mean, I'm not gonna lie. Two N's, two S's, dang it. I mean, recency bias? But I feel better about this pen than my the one I tested. The the nib was a little bit off in the one I tested. I know y'all don't care about this necessarily, but this is a great ink. It's a little bit darker than uh, Ackerman number twenty eight, but it's got some brightness to it. It's got good shading. This is a great ink. I cannot recommend this ink enough. So it doesn't quite have like the vibrancy pop that like Viper does. Graphon Viper Castello Viper. It doesn't quite have the pure yellow that 28 does, but this is a just a great all day color and it's got good shading too, so. I now know with a Nautilus you can swap a Yovo number six into it, but the stock Nautilus dib does not fit into another Yovo housing feed. My tracking shows a package has wandered off to Bahrain instead of England. Is it going to the F1 testing next week? Nice ink, not the nib for me on that narwhal out of the box. Factually correct. I will enjoy writing this. I have not, I don't own lemur lime. I've tested it. And if I my memory serves, lemur lime is brighter, but like the color base is pretty similar. If that makes any kind of sense. Like this, you can almost catch a hint of brown in it where the lemur lime, you catch a hint of yellow in it. So I, I don't know if that, if that helps or not. I think the le lemur lime is brighter. It is more of a straight up like lime peel lime as opposed to like uh, Ackerman number 28. I would never call that ink lime, but it's like a yellow green. So yeah, very good. Lemur Lime is a better sounding name. I mean, hemp. All right, now that could use a poll. What's a better ink name, Lime or Hemp? That's a poll. Compare that to Herbin Vert Olive. I don't have Vert Olive. I have uh, Olive Green Faber Castell ink here. Depends on the time of day. <laughs> Spoke with Mark, I now recommend shipping an AirTag with your pins if possible. That's not a bad idea. The, the lemur lime, I'm with you. I was, I was trying to, uh, I was trying to um, uh, sway the vote. I knew what I was doing there. <laughs> and this is... This is olive green, very different color. I'll show you in a second. And this is a very standard paper. This is that um, uh, drill log notepad that they sent. And this is the roller ball. So these are two very different greens. <laughs> Had some bad gator green I was fond of that I don't like green all that often. Green is a color I grew into. I don't like traditional greens, like a, like a basic like Kelly green, like a straight up shamrock type of green. I, pass me on that, but anything like darker or lighter, I'm good. So two very different colors. So 
So now I need to get Salamander out one of these days. So, so that's the Narwhal. What's the official name of this pen? Does this have a name? Is it just a Narwhal something collab? Alt Goldgroon. See, so you're gonna make me get that out now. Now I want to see for myself. I like Birmingham's uh, Shortleaf Pine. I do like that one. Let me look at that. Just go to the Closet of Doom and grab all the greens. It'd be a pretty short list. I've bought more greens over the past couple of years than I have just comp ever before. Tools to live by. Yeah, this actually reminds me of hemp right here. It's hard to see in this one little sample. That sample reminds me maybe a little darker hemp. Salamander is going to be one of the next inks I ink up. Thank you, Tony. So this is the pen. Narwhal, Galen. So they're just calling it the Narwhal, uh, Narwhal X Galen. Oh, you know, maybe this is the, the, comes with a handmade single leather pen sleeve. Maybe that's what I do. Oh, I'm showing y'all this. Sorry. Bad streamer. So maybe that's what the pen sleeve is for. That could work. Oh, that's an iron gall ink? Oh, nice. That tool's a little by. I don't have those. I'll have to get some. Robert Oster, Oster Citrus is my top green, but is currently rocking Culver's Walk the Dog. I haven't seen that one. All right, so this is Alt Gold Groon. All of a sudden, I have all the inks, all the green inks inked up. So Roaring Klingner is going to be like a mix of these two, I think. You're not going to be able to see this because this is a mega fine nib. trying to write big with a nib that's not made to write big. Let's see if I can get some color on the page. So yeah, Alt Gold Groon is the combo ink of hemp and olive green. I don't know, it leans more towards the olive green. This is a Matthew Martin uh, pen OG and it has a micro architect nib in there. That's why you can't really see the, the lettering colors there. It's really fine. So yeah, a little bit more yellowy. It's very, it's very shading ink. If you had it in a, a wider nib pen, it's stupidly expensive for what it is. I didn't even see. I mean, the bottle looks crazy. 50. Who? You weren't kidding. 50 for a 30 milliliter bottle, dang. Yeah, and those are generally kind of basic colors, but I will try one. I need to, I'll try one. A good classic green ink. I mean, have you looked at Viper? Is that too bright? Is Graphon Faber-Castell Viper? Viper green, I have a review. Uh, Viper green review. I can't even reach my keyboard right now. Someone else will have to look it up. I can't type. My keyboard's blocked. All right. So we're going to do a giveaway now. Mont Blanc Irish Green. That's a famous classic green. Yeah. All right. I'm glad I inked that up. Thank you, Tony. We're gonna go give away the Cosmo Airlight Notebook and the Evil Eye. Galantium, I, that is a statement I agree 100% with. Posture check, good, I was just adjusting so I needed this posture check. Thank you, Thunder Viking. For shading, I love Apache Sunset, yeah. You were on it today with the links, I appreciate you. So this is a brighter but more standard-ish green. 
It's got some electricity to it. But it's a little bit more. It's all the it's the one all the way to the left. Right? So it's a more traditional green but with some brightness. So there's a writing sample. This whoever did this review has great handwriting. Just saying. I'm not sure who did that review. They have killer handwriting. And they probably sold that pen too. I'm like a big dumb that they are. That ink is too green for that pen. Could be. It's more of an alt gold greeny color in there. But I did sell this pen. That author is always shouting. I mean, look at this. Like, ah. <laughs> yeah, I sold that pen. Which I'm okay with. It's really pretty, though. <clears throat> All right, let's do a giveaway. So let me do this. MB main lines are great, though expensive. I don't think they're that expensive even. Hang on, my dad's calling me, and I don't know why, so let me take this real quick. Sorry, chat. Always answer your parents' calls. Even if they just want to chit-chat like they did. So, there you go. Uh, tell your dad. I was typing the giveaway while uh, he was talking. So, this is what we're giving away. The Cosmo Air Light. Um, Galen notebook, which is really, really great. And I'll throw in the... Uh, the little the little pouch it's got the evil eye and it's got all the uh the turkish um the turkish accessories with it including the uh uh the coffee and the the tea and all that stuff so let's give this away okay good 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 he was actually uh we were talking about pickleball he wanted to know if i smelled all the dope smoke <laughs> the last time we played because <laughs> they were hearing stories <laughs> And I said, yes. 
<laughs> Brad, what pin was that? You're going to have to narrow that down. The demonstrator. So this is a, uh, I'll show you. It is this Galen leather. That pin right there. So it's a uh, Galen leather. They just sent it to me. So I just opened it up and inked it up here. <laughs> it's really nice. I'm kind of digging it. And for the price, God, for the price, it's really good. All right, let's give this away. He was see checking to see if I was holding. <laughs> yeah, they played with someone that played with me the other night, and we're, we're commenting on it, so it was kind of funny. All right, so this is for the Cosmo Air Light Notebook, Galen Leather. Shout out, Galen Leather. Thank you for sending me this stuff. I did have the hemp ink out, true. Um and little accessories, including the evil eye. So let's uh, let's do this giveaway. All right, so just do uh, exclamation point raffle. Anyone can win. You don't have to be a follower, subscriber. You don't have to live in the United States. I will ship anywhere. I ship worldwide. This is a good giveaway, yeah. Um, shout out to Galen. Galen Leather, thank you, Eunice, for thinking of me. Thank you for sending this stuff for me to check out. I'll be doing a review of the pen case. Um, the 12 slot pen case that they sent me and I'll be doing a review of the narwhal that they sent me um, soon I, uh, I had a good ink there to, to ink it up with so there you go we will uh, we will sleeve this in the uh, matching green sleeve right now what is like I need to stretch it out is right at the tippy top here we need to embiggen embiggen that for that big that's a big pen all right, and then I gotta go put all these fancy pins away before I get compelled to ink them up too. All right, so what else are we gonna talk about today? I got a few more minutes if we need to do and catch it up anything after afterwards, but then I'm gonna go. Hit the shipping department. Get y'all's giveaway items from this week shipped out. I'm caught up except for the Tuesday, Wednesday stuff. If you had something last week, I shipped it. Oh, what was I going to check? I can't remember. <clears throat> I need you to end the stream so I can go do stuff, but also say that I finally watched a whole stream again. Nice. You will you will watch this whole stream because I'm almost done. When will a Pinatic Gravitas collaboration happen? Send me an email. I have ideas that you would execute very well. I am confident. So yeah, shoot me an email so we can at least start talking. Did you ship mine? Did you win this week or last week? Oh, your case. No, but it's shipping today. Yes, I know what you're talking about. It is shipping today. It is on the master list for today's shipments. Yep, no rush, Ben. I'm about to put a bow on a product collaboration right now, but then I'll need a next one to start working on so we can at least start beating around and seeing what we can come up with. New Venta inks out. Do you have a link for that? Do we have any... Um, one at a t See, Thunder Viking, I said, we're going to finish this one, then we'll get ready for the next one. Received your knock order. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. We ready? We ready? Pick a winner. Helen Hedgehog. Helen Hedgehog. Winner of the things. Congrats, Helen Hedgehog. Definitely at least a second time winner. If not more than that. I think Helen Hedgehog will put this notebook to really good use. If Welcome, Sadriana. Fifth time winner. Oh, now you're going to get hate mail. You're going to get hate mail. See, I entered this one and didn't win. This was a good one. We'll pull up these uh, inks here momentarily. And Helen Hedgehog, no matter how many times you win, I still, I'm still going to make you email me. Because that's how it gets into my task list. Zero wins gang is coming for you. That's another emote I have to have is zero, zero wins. Hey, Boss Baker Chris, I'm glad to do it. It helps me too. It helps me out too. Um, rigged is on the emote list for the never-to-be-made emotes. I should just not 
have emotes made at this point. But rigged is definitely on the list. I need to just add a zero. Zero wins, gang. All right, we'll write this with the new, the new uh, narwhal, and then we'll pull up these things here real quick. If you send me your address soon, I will ship it today. I could just go look it up, but it's not how I roll. Toby is the Toby. When I send out the emote list, I send out like five and maybe up to ten. Toby is always in the number one slot. Not gonna lie. Um, so yeah. All right. Hell and agile. All right, so we're gonna put that together. All right, let's look at these Venta inks and then we'll probably wrap it up. <clears throat> Fairy tale collection. Are these shimmer inks? Let's see. Four Venta ink samples. Did you happen to get Armada? I always like to hear people who get Armada, what they think of that ink. People have one on their first day here. Absolutely. Yeah, we've had first time, like, we've had someone show up, like, really just like in the cut last week, I think we had one. Someone show up, say, I had no idea there was a stream about pens, and then they won. Uh, thing Armada was out of stock. There's a good reason Armada's out of stock. It's so interesting. So we have Mystical Eve, Clouds of Grey, Sea and Sky, Plume, and The Maiden. Um, are these all shimmer? Plume is a bright purple with deeper blue undertones and pink shimmer. That's this one, the plume. Oh, it only, is there an expansion? Yeah, it doesn't list all of them yet. So it just has the plume listed, but it looks like they're all shimmer of some sort. Sea and sky, looks like it's got shimmer and sheen. Clouds of gray. Mystical Eve is definitely like kind of that midnight and gold shimmer. Clouds of gray, gray and gold. This looks like um, blue and maybe silver. It's hard to see, but with a red sheen. And then, I don't know, that's really light. Maybe silver again, and then gold in the Maiden. Very interesting. Looks like that's just the product page for Plume. I see, I see, I see, I see. All right, let me, uh, let me go here. I want to see what the other colors are. Let's see. Now there's going to be too many for me to find them again. Okay. Clouds of gray, sea and sky, mystical eve, plume. Okay, maiden. All right, we got them all here. I just want to read them. Sorry. Yeah, I was too slow. Maiden, gorgeous pink with faint nuances of brown, purple, overlaid with dazzling gold shimmer. All right, so that's the Maiden. Armada now in stock. <laughs> I mean, Ar Armada's a good purchase. Uh, so this is Clouds of Gray. It is gray with brown and purple and gold shimmer. That looks right. That could be interesting. Lock Bay is light blue teal. The shimmer is red. Interesting. So it's actual red shimmer, not, um, not red sheen and like silver shimmer. It's actual, it's red shimmer. That would be a test. That would be a test. I wanna see that one. I wanna see someone use that one. Interesting. And then Mystical Eve is purple black, deep green, and it just has a fine shimmer. So maybe this is less, I don't know, that looks cool. Anyway, cool. 
Your basic, I only have Waterman Blue and Violet right now. You cannot go wrong with Waterman Blue. I bet a lot of people in this chat have a heavy dosage of Waterman Blue um, in the rotation. It's good stuff. You cannot go wrong with that. All right. <clears throat> cool. All right, anything else? I think I'm going to wrap it up today and uh, go do some more work. I've never used a Waterman ink. Their mysterious blue is a favorite. Yeah, there you go. Rewizzle's mysterious blue for the win. Waterman mysterious blue in my 912 PO. It's it's the it's the ticket. It's not waterproof. Right, right, right. But it is a really nice color. Really nice color. Waterman blue is flat and uninspiring. I mean, I don't disagree with that. But what it does, it does really well. And that's a good, like, consistent fountain pen writing ink if you're good with basic blue, right? What basic blue, like pilot blue is good? What are the good basic blues? Pelican basic blue? I don't even like that one. I like Twisby's basic blue. That's what I have in the swipe. But yeah, I have a bottle of Waterman blue. I dig it. Test stitch. Oh, look at you coming in. Coming in at the end. We got another giveaway. All right, let's do it. I'm traveling to France, and I know it's a major stationary place. Anything I should look out for in particular? All right, if anyone has any answers for Galileo, um, definitely um, find out. Um, Anna, if someone can find Anna's, um, Anna Siski's um, Paris um, travel log post for that. Can someone pull that up? Um, what's the blog? Ink Antidora. Someone could put Ink Antidora out there and the Paris travel blog. That would be a great link for uh, Galileo. And while I find another giveaway right before we locked it down, that was a good move. All right, so we did a notebook. So let me find a pen or something like that. Whoa. Let's see here. Oh, here's something cool to give away. Here's a cool one. All right, now that I got my keyboard, do y'all need me to find uh, this post? This is the Icebox of Happiness. All right, so here is the Paris shopping guide that our friend Anna did. I'm getting ready to do another giveaway. We have uh, we have a ink drops giveaway. So Galileo, here is the um, here is her blog post for Paris. All right, reset. All right, so here's what we're gonna give away. Oh, Brad, what did I do? Sound like I may be getting a hippo noto after three years? Get out of town. <laughs> Get out of town. All right. Um, yeah, so I just grabbed this out of the icebox of happiness. This is when I was cleaning out. I had an extra random Karen Dash 849 pin attic model ballpoint. I should say I love this pen because I made this pen for me. Um, so let's give this away. I think it's a really neat pen. They did a good job. It was a nightmare to get these made, but in the end, they executed flawlessly. It'll take uh, Parker style refills. The Karen Dash Goliath refill is really good. Um, I did. This is one I don't switch out the refill on because their ballpoint is good. So I got um, a medium, um, medium blue. So, giant cartridge Goliath, medium blue. Oh, y'all can't read that. So anyway, but yeah, Parker style. It's become your favorite ballpoint. Nice. 
it's such a neat pen. Like it's it's old school in the size, right? Like it's 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 small ish, but like really well made, right? So that's why I like them so much. All right, so let's give this away. All right, exclamation point raffle. I love the 849 fountain pen and the fixed pencil. Just need the ballpoint. Yeah, I'm a huge fixed pencil fan. I haven't gotten into the uh, fountain pen, but I'm sure I would like it too. So I will, let me get ramen for this. Ramen. So we can take this out to the shipping department and get it in a box. A49 fountain pen has a satisfying snap cap. Oh, I like the sound of that. No pun intended. Threadist, 12 months of subbing. Thank you so much. Sorry your alert didn't go off. Let's go. Here's a little chair, chair for you. I know so little about ballpoints. Pilot G2 is such a staple of where I work. You're lucky if the Pilot G2 is a staple where you work like that work will kind of supply those to you just got this cda claim your style yeah that's a hot one i got the uh green one in that series like the mint green one um and it has like whatever color that clip is is the color of the knock on the green one those are cool hey jasmine marie plans we're doing super well so that's the one test was uh showing there All right, while y'all are doing that, I'm gonna try to find someone to raid. Oh, we gotta check out the tags. We gotta see if we can find someone new with the tags. Sorry. Oh, I keep having that screen up. Sorry, I didn't realize I had that screen up. <laughs> I was looking the other way. <laughs> so that was the, the, the back ends. All right, let's see if I go here, I can click on stationary. I'm the only stationary streamer. Okay. What about journaling? I'm the only journaling streamer. Yesterday we had a few. Did my planner stream not come up? Let me move this out of the way. Oh yeah. The G2.38, that's really good. Yeah, sorry, I had my head turned. When I'm looking at this other screen. Um, this looks like a cool Lego build. Building my Ford Bronco. Okay, sorry. If I watch a stationary stream on mobile, will it cause a singularity? All right, what are we doing? What are we doing? co-working fashion design thesis that actually sounds interesting but i feel like we would interrupt their their studies new kitty first lego stream knitting i know i still got to give this away i'm i'm trolling y'all right now it's always hard when i decide to raid someone at the last minute but i'm holding y'all hostage I'm always open for uh, for uh, recommendations. Best gift for non people pen people is a box pen. Yeah, I I'm I mean I'm involved with box pen obviously. Um, it's uh, Brian's company, my partner in spoke design, but it's a really cool product. All right, chat. What do we want to do? Y'all want to see Lego? Celery men's getting ready to come on and write, do some writing. I 
I'm just browsing now. No one's using the stationary or journaling tags. <laughs> Brickanista, that seems like uh that seems like right up your alley, probably. Chicken themed box pen? We'll do anything box pen. What is this? Where'd it go? Let me check this out stream real quick and then I will, uh, that new big F1 le Lego looks legit. It does look legit. What are they building? Oh, they're building the, uh, the Mario world one. Oh, and it's a very snappy, mo yeah, let's do, okay. We're gonna go that one. All right, let me do this giveaway and then we'll go do a raid. Sorry. All right, picking a winner, picking a winner now. Currently reading, I think that's a new one. I think that is a new winner. Oh, let me put this on mute till I do the raid. Currently reading, are you there? One, one rule or two rules for winners. First time joining live, see, it is possible, y'all. So you do have to say, hey, I'm here. You have to be present to win, right? And then you have to email me, hello at pinatic.com, and you want a cool, a really cool pinatic pen. Nice. If you email me, like in the next hour, I will, uh, I will ship it out today. Otherwise, it'll be like Sunday. Congratulations. First time ever, Thunder Viking. How long have you been here? Three years? I'm just pointing, just pointing that out. I figure the more I say it, the more I'm going to will you to a win. Um, you know, I am feeling this, these, these zero, zero, uh, zero win clubs. <laughs> rigged, rigged. All right. This is going to be fun. All right. Let's see if I can get this right. All right, let's go raid Sleepy Bird Art because they're doing the Mario Lego set. All right, we will believe it into existence. All right, thanks for hanging out today, y'all. I appreciate you. We'll be back streaming next week. Um, sorry for spending your money today, Queen of Washi, but I'll have something. Uh, I'll have something in the mail to you today as well. So uh, love y'all's faces. Thank you, Tess. Uh, y'all be good and. Uh, Go play with your stationery. Bye.